Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and I wanted to uh, do a video for the noobs out there. This is a basic day one Android. If you are brand new to rooting and brand new to flashing ROMs, this is a video to show you how to flash a ROM. Now, it's pretty much the same process throughout most devices. At least it was for the Galaxy S3 and the Droid X. Um, you basically have to wipe your phone out, and you need to install your new ROM and reboot your phone. Now, if you're using an AOSP ROM or one that's uh, from Google Source, and not a TouchWiz ROM, you'll need to also flash the gaps. So, first thing you're going to need to do is get into recovery. Now, if you're on a rooted stock ROM, that means straight from Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, you will not have the option to get into recovery straight from your power menu. So, you'll need to do one of two things. You'll need to first go over to the Easy Recovery application. Uh, you can download that for free from the Google Play Store. Click on Recovery. You can either flash Clockwork Mob Recovery Touch 5.8.4.9 uh, Clockwork Mob Recovery 6010 or TWRP 2.2.0. I go with the Clockwork Mob Recovery 6010. You're going to hit the flash button there, which will flash the recovery to your phone, and then you'll click Reboot into Recovery. Now, if that works for you, great. I know there are some people that it does not work for. So you can also use ROM Manager, which works for a buddy from, of mine, uh, by clicking Flash Clockwork Mob Recovery. You're going to find your device in here, which in this case would be the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. You'll click on that and flash it to your device and then reboot into recovery. Once you're into recovery, let me get into it real quick here. I'm on the Synergy build number 77. And like I said, the process is pretty much the same throughout every uh, device. You're going to need to get into Clockwork Mom Recovery, wipe out your phone, put the new ROM on, install it, and then reboot your phone. So first you, the thing you're going to need to do is make a backup. If you have not done that yet, I'll show you where to do that. Uh, backup is going to make a backup of the phone the exact way it is right now. Every app, every email, every text, everything that is in your phone will be backed up kind of like on your PC. So first thing you'll do once you're in recovery, if you have not made a backup, is go down to Backup and Restore. This is the main screen. I know it's hard to see in the video. Um, the options are Reboot System Now, Install Zip from SD Card, Wipe Data Factory Reset, wipe cache partition, backup and restore, mounts and storage, and advanced. That is the main screen of Clockwork Mob Recovery. So you'll go to backup and restore, and you can either choose backup right there, your first option, or you can go down to backup to an external SD card, which I do because I want to save space in the internal SD card. Um, so click that. Now your phone's going to do its thing. Once it's done, you'll reboot the phone, get back into Clockwork Mob Recovery, and we'll be right here. For those of you who have already made a backup, let's start. To flash a ROM, you're going to first need to wipe out your phone by wipe data, factory reset, the third option down, wipe cache partition, then you're going to go down to advanced, the last option, and go to wipe Dalvik cache, D-A-L-V-I-K, which is the second option here. Once that's done, you can go ahead and flash your ROM, but some of us lately have been going one step further by going down to mounts and storage, going to format system, format data, and format cache. The reason why we do that is just because we want to be safe. There are sometimes every once in a while little bits and pieces of other ROMs left over and the first three wipes don't exactly take care of them. In most cases it does but if you want to go that extra step, mountains and storage, format system, data and cache. Now our phones are entirely wiped out right now and now it's time to flash the new ROM so you'll go to the main screen and go down to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and go down to download that's probably where you're gonna have your ROM if not then go to wherever you've actually uh, downloaded your ROM to your phone find the ROM which in this case will be build number 77 you're gonna click on that and you go down to install now your phone will install the ROM to your phone when it's all done it's gonna go out to either the screen that has choose zip from SD card first or it'll go out to the reboot system now it just depends on which device you have, on which it goes to. You want to get to the Reboot System Now screen, and you're going to click Reboot System Now. Now once the phone reboots, you should be in the new ROM, and of course it does take a little bit longer the first time when you're booting up, so just be patient, let it do its thing. If you were flashing a AOSP or Google ROM, you will, after you flash the ROM, you're going to need to flash the gaps as well, the Google apps, before you reboot. 
Again, you should have both of them downloaded. If you're running a ROM like, say, uh, AOKP or CM10, that is going to be a Google ROM via or versus TouchWiz ROMs like Clean ROM, Synergy, and Beans ROM. So that's basically how to flash a ROM on any device. This is for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Um, I hope it helped out. Definitely check out some of my other videos and my ROM reviews of custom ROMs that are out there at Android University on YouTube. It's Hobart. Have a good day.